Where are we at? Chinese. We're at Chinese because yeah. somebody wanted to eat Chinese. So, uh, guys, welcome to vlog three. This is vlog three, and uh, we're going to tell you today about how we almost got ripped off by our distributor where we buy our plants and mulch and stuff at. So, stay tuned. Your bottom's buckled. Mm -hmm. Unbuckle it. Yeah. You can. Here at Suburban Lawn and Garden. Welcome to the big leagues. This is the big leagues right here. Biggest place around probably. Got a little bit of everything here guys. You playing with the tires? Come on. Place is huge. This place. Place is ginormous. I need one of these, but I need one that's tall. Taller than what they got here. What size is this? 72 inches. Looks like the tallest they go. By the time it's in the ground, it ain't even that tall. Oh, here they are. Here's the big boys. That's what I need right there. I don't need two though. I just need a one hanger. this back here possibly that's a 88 looks like 88's as big as they go oh here's a good one right here there it is I found it found the one I need guys and I need this to put uh to put our bug zapper on out in the yard that's forty dollars. Woo wee! <clears throat> I think we'll look online, maybe. You water in the ground? <clears throat> All right. Well, come on. place has it all anything you could want this place has so we're gonna wander around get some mulch and stuff and uh, move on so we'll see ya all right guys so one thing I want to talk about is I've got a uh, let me get out of the sun here I've got an account set up with these uh, people and so I'm supposed to get everything at wholesale, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, long story short, if I come in as a regular customer and I buy seven and a half yards of mulch, it just cost me 376 bucks. Okay, I would have saved 70 bucks off of that. So it would have cost me $300 if I would have did it under my account. But they would have charged me a hundred and twenty dollar delivery fee so now i'm over i'm on at almost four hundred and fifty dollars by the time i get mulch and get it sent out to a property to where if i come in as a regular homeowner and buy it i just saved 80 bucks after taxes because i don't have to pay for that delivery fee does that make sense no does that help us any no because we should get free delivery as well um, we shouldn't have to pay that delivery fee in my opinion if a homeowner can come in and get it cheaper than we can what's the point of us having an account for what they consider wholesale pricing so I think uh, the only time I'm going to continue to come here is uh, 
if I absolutely positively have to have something. Otherwise, I'm going to go and I'm going to try to find another place to start getting my mulch and things like that because this is just don't seem adequate at all for anybody. Like, it makes no sense. Check this bird out. Oh, y'all missed it. There was a the bird was down there tearing it up. So uh, that's just my opinion on this, guys. Let me know in the comments below what you think. You know, should we be charged that delivery fee even though we're getting it a little cheaper? Um, because in the long run, I would have wasted more money using my account than I would have coming in as a homeowner. So I just purchased it as a homeowner and have them send it out. So uh, we're gonna keep looking around and try to find some more places apparently to uh, start getting some mulch and things like that. So uh, moving on with the day we're done here uh, we got the mulch ordered anyway probably not going to purchase anything else here like i was going to uh, the sun's playing with the frog i'm not sure what's going on here you like the froggy yeah what color is the frog is it green are you ready to go well it's got a couple of babies <laughs> all right guys so we're going to get out of here and move on go to the next spot so we'll see ya all right guys so we've been home uh we got everything out uh, i got a i had to have one so uh i went and i got me a a little roto tiller slash cultivator here um i bought the craftsman one because i want to see what they're made of so we'll see then we got the uh we got the auger in today the bit for my thing and i actually ended up getting the wrong one i I ordered a 10, but I got an eight. Um, and then this is the wheelbarrow I chose. I got the uh, Trooper wheelbarrow from Menards and I ended up getting the heavy duty round handles on it. Uh, this thing had a better capacity than the um, True Temper plus, well, 25 pounds more, which 25 pounds is a lot. Uh, so I got the 25 pound more wheelbarrow plus i upgraded the handles to you know these handles instead of regular handles and it's got the dual tires as well so this thing uh only cost me around 90 bucks so can't beat that 90 bucks compared to 130 plus the weight of it is better than the true temper we'll see how it actually holds up though other than that tomorrow is uh we're gonna get some mowing footage for y'all. My garage is a disaster area right now. Uh, the wife wanted a grill, so we had to go get a grill, put that out. What have I got on my lens here? <sighs> All right, much better. Um, so we went and got her a grill. And so she's happy now. And yeah, other than that, it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be fantastic. So, that's what we got right there. And then of course the little craftsman thing, but the garage, it is a disaster. And then uh, I ended up, because the grip's so hard on the Darwin's grip, I ended up getting a baseball bat type thing here and putting on it uh, to tighten, make the grip a lot smoother. And man, I tell you what, that made a heck of a difference right there. So that's gonna do it for this one, guys. Let me know down below if y'all like these vlogs type style things or if y'all just want to see mowing and me shut up. Uh, so that's going to do it. So thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you in the next one.